Now, as that weather warms up, some ski resorts are wrapping up the season in a unique way. And Solitude Mountain Resort is holding its Pond Skim Beach Party tomorrow. And ABC4's photojournalist John Shimon shows us what goes into getting this massive water ready for the competitors. We open registration for the pond skim, you know, usually a month to six weeks before it happens. We take about 100 entrants, fills up really quick. There's more demand to compete in the event than we have space for. There's huge, huge interest from competitors and then the public. Like if you're here on a pond skim day, you'll see people lined up. Hi, Mom. Step one is making sure the zone that we plan to build in is, is dead level in all directions. Um, water is always level, so it'll, it's pretty good at showing you when you're not level. So we just make sure that our walls are, are nice and square. And it's a perfect spot for it. We have plenty of speed coming down Main Street into a nice, pretty level area. So it makes for a great venue. I think a lot of, a lot of speed is going to be the key. You know, point, point skis downhill pretty hard. Um, it's a little sticky on the snow, so you definitely need to just kind of straight line it, no turns. Stay a little bit in the back seat, but just bend those knees, butt back, and it's, it's pretty easy. It's honestly much softer in the water than it is on the snow. Yeah! I'm super excited for Saturday, yeah. I think people are going to be chucking some carcass, throwing down, you know, totally getting soaked, hopefully spraying everyone on the outskirts. You know, it's 70 degrees. It's, it's time to have a little beach bash, you know? I hope our camera's okay. That was photojournalist John Shimon reporting. Joining us to talk about this awesome event is Solitude Mountain Resort's Jeff Carroll. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, happy to be here, of course. So the event is tomorrow, but that, is. that was your employees testing it out, making sure everything's working. Yeah, you gotta make sure the entrance is good, the exit is good, and then yeah. that helps us like nail where the starting point is. Yeah. Like where do we have the start gate for this event? So we'll, we'll test it today and that'll kind of dial it in. And then tomorrow morning, we'll put some other employees out there and really kind of figure out where the start point is for for the for the run to the pond. They make yeah. it look so easy. I, I'm you know it <laughs> seems like whenever we have our employees out there testing, it's the ones that really have some experience. Right. You will see tomorrow that it's not easy for everybody. No, right? no, it's so the, yeah. hard when you see yeah. people do it. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, and and you know competitors too will throw in a lot more tricks, right? Yeah. So they get a little bit fancier when they're out there competing and they're in costume and they're. They're trying to win the big trophy. Right. So, uh, yeah, you'll see plenty of people that don't make it. So tell us a little bit on what went into making this pond. Because the pond isn't just there. You guys actually have to do. create yeah. the pond. Itself. We dig it. I mean, we have a really talented crew. It's our terrain park crew that uh -huh. digs it with the cat. It, you know, I think the first year we did it, it probably took us a full week to dig it. Oh, but my we're getting, goodness. We're getting pretty good at it. So they had, uh, they had one shift the other night where they dug it, eight ish hours mm -hmm. uh, and you know it's it measures so oh, about a hundred feet long give or take hundred hundred thousand gallons of water mm -hmm. and so the park crew just gets out there they get after it they dig it they line it I think he told me there was um, God it's, it's it's I think it's five tarps or or you know pieces of plastic uh -huh. liners in there to create some durability in that so the water doesn't seep through to the snow and yeah I mean it's a it's a lot of work but I, I will say that our team is Pretty good at it now. This there's, is the third year, so yeah. And there's there's a science to filling that and a science to making it across because most people don't make it across. Yeah, I've you'll heard. see a lot of people that either yeah. don't have enough speed and they kind of mm -hmm. sink in, or they just get off balance a little bit and they cartwheel through it or they dive in. I mean, you might even see people. We had people last year that crashed before they got to the pond, oh, it's tumbled, wow. and then fell into the <laughs> pond. So it's quite a show. It's quite and, a show. And it, it's too late to compete, but plenty of people just come to they do. enjoy it, right? They do. Yeah, yeah. So there'll be 100 entrants. The event starts at about noon. Mm -hmm. Take us a couple hours, two and a half hours ish, to get through all the entrance. It's it's quite a show, and and the course will be lined up with with uh, spectators, That's right? And so there's a lot of spectators out there that love to come and see it. And then after the event, after the pond skim, uh, gorgeous gourds is there. So pond skim beach party, the beach party part of it is live music at Last Chance. That's that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Um, so where can people find more information about this event if they'd like to check this out tomorrow? Right. Yeah, solitudemountain.com.
right? So right, just yeah, go to our website simple. and uh, it's easy to navigate to the events page and, and you'll see it there front and center. All right, fantastic. Again, this event starts at noon and we are so excited about it. I'm actually competing as well. I haven't, you are, I, I haven't gotten to see this or anything. So we're going to be there and we're going to be covering it. So be sure you to say hello. If you see us out there, we're going to be interviewing people, yep. competing as well. I'm so excited. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be here. It's going to be so much fun. It will be. Yep. All right. Thank you.